welcome to this video about the identification of polka loops. In this short video we will explain how to recognize the routings between cells for the polka system. These are called the polka loops. We do this by first identifying the products or product family concerned. A history-based measurement of the actual possible routings and an analysis of these routings are the base of the polka loops in the system. This is done with the creation of a from to table. After this, the loops are designed. The first step is to recognize the product family or FTMS. In a separate video, you can see in detail how to reduce variability and group products on a logical way. But the result must be a group of products that are fairly similar in processes. As soon as this is done, the sequence of production steps is determined. So, how to determine polka loops? To do this, you have to analyze the intercell traffic. This means the possible routings of the products of the chosen product family. Suppose you have three kind of work cells the blue, green and red ones. And you have a quality inspection cell. This is the white one. Finally, you have two packing cells. These are the dark green ones. The raw materials enter the production system and this first product starts at one of the blue cells. After processing, go to a green cell, then to a red cell, and after a quality check, the product is put in a box and is ready for shipment. However, the different products of this product family follow different routings through the cells. Some do not have handle of the red cell. Some do not need a quality check. In this animation, we follow the manufacturing of only 9 products but you can imagine that there are a lot of possible routings. So, how to recognize the possible polka loops? We analyze the different routings by following the products at the production floor during a specific measurement period. We put every move from one station to the other in a table. We call this the from to table. So the from to table is a table that displays the number of orders that have been exchanged between a pair of cells, a loop, during a specific measurement period. Let's give all cells a number. Bring in some raw materials and start measuring. The first product goes to cell one and after that to 4. We put in the table a 1 in the matrix showing from 1 to 4. After 4, the product moves to cell 7. So we put a 1 at from 4 to 7. After 7, the product goes to the quality check at 8 and from 8, the product is put in a box at cell 9. The second product starts at 2 then 3, 8, and 10. For all the product routings during the measurement period, we fill in the matrix the number of times the from to exchange is measured. For the previous 9 products, the table is as follows. You can see not all combination of loops between cells exist. Suppose we measure during one month and the resulting table is filled with enough jobs to ensure a valid representation of the production. Let's start with the jobs that leave cell 1. They go to cell 3, 4 and 5. And these sequences can be considered as polka loops. By the way, the polka cards representing these loops are like this. Then, for cell 2, jobs go to cell 3 and 4. The polka cards look like these. For cell 3, 4 and 5, 
The polka loops and the polka cards are these. For cell 6 and 7, the polka loops and the polka cards are these. And finally, for cell 8, the polka loops and cards are these. So, we have identified 16 possible polka loops. The polka loops that are identified look a bit messy if you see it in one picture. But remember, these are only 16 possible loops for these 10 cells. So, to recap, in this video we showed that the identification of loops can be done in a four-step process. First, determine the product family or FTMS that should be controlled using Polka. Then, make an overview of the intercell traffic that these products will generate. From this traffic, a from to table can be created. In this table, the actual loops can be recognized. During the actual production, be aware of the need for changes. It is important to check if the loops provide the control that is desired and solve the planning issues.